Hello, thank you for stopping by and welcome to my channel. DIY with Aurea. Guys, we are back with Recreation Inspiration and this month is all about fall. It is being hosted by Loli, Loli Dis Creations, along with Kate, Lady Red Crafting. And this month, guest host is Marla, the Chic Show DIY. These are talented creators. I'm going to be leaving the links directly to the channel down in my description box, as always, along with a playlist. Please make sure to go ahead and visit them and show them a lot of love by subscribing, sharing, and liking. And on this collaboration, we have to create create another creator's project that inspires us. We must recognize and give them credit. My first project I was inspired by Decora Conmigo. This white pumpkin is from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start by taking this stem out of here with my exacto knife. I'm not gonna throw this out because I'm gonna use it. I'm just going to remove it only because I am going to be painting it with this serenity blue. I'm gonna be giving it one coat but then Later on, I did not like the texture, so I came back once it was nice and dry, the one coat. I came in and I added some baking soda. And then I took a dabbing brush and I dabbed it all over the pumpkin. And to me it's faster if I'm going to be painting wood beads to put them in a cup and with a wet brush with whatever color you desire just go ahead and paint them right there. And then what I do is I come in with my heat tool. I dry them right there and it doesn't take not even two minutes for me to do this. Nice and easy. So we went and we put that to the side. Now the stamp I am painting it with the same white chalk paint as you can see. And then once it's dry I'm measuring to make sure that it's going to fit in correctly and that little garland is gonna go on top along with two beautiful leaves that I found in the bottom of my stash. I did not purchase anything for this one project. Everything was from my stash. And then this will be it for this project. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it preparing it. Here's the final review. Make sure to give me that big thumbs up. And for the second project, I was inspired by Crafts by Caitlin. And I am going to be taking this little paddle board or you can call it cutting board. I purchased this at Timo. I'm going to continue to use the same paint that I've been using. So I'm going to give it one coat, wait until it dries, and then come back and just start dabbing it just as you see here with the sponge brush. And once I was done painting it, I got, you know, a little impatient. So I came out with my heat tool and I'm making the process quicker. So I'm drying it. I was really not patient, but yes, that's what I did. I used my heat tool and once it was completely dry, then I came in with the same beautiful sunflower. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and color that in with white chalk paint. 
I feel that whenever I use a stencil, I like to add some baking soda just to make the paint thicker and like that I have less bleeding. I also purchased this stencil at Timo. So all I'm doing is holding the stencil down and with the same white chalk paint that I included baking soda, now we're gonna go ahead and start filling this in. And here it is, look at it, it came out just perfect. I also have this thankful word. I'm gonna go ahead and give it one coat with this khaki color. And this is the word that I'm going to be placing right on top of that cutting board. So now I'm gonna go ahead and glue it in with plenty of hot glue. This is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is my favorite of this video. What do you think? Leave me in the comment section which is your favorite. I like the simplicity and I love the colors that I chose. And this pretty little ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut a piece and of course I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right here. And I'm also going to be adding some of this jewel cord right here and like that we could go ahead and put this hanging from a thumbtack, a nail and this will be it. My dear friends, I am truly liking this project. This is so absolutely gorgeous and of course again this is my favorite. And don't forget my dear friends, this is part of a open collaboration. Don't forget to visit these creators. And for this next inspiration, I was inspired by Kristen K. I have this pumpkin that I purchased at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Now I am going to be using the back side. I went on and I used the same chalk paint, Serenity Blue, and I'm giving it one entire thick coat. I'm coming in with my heat tool and I am drying this because we are a little impatient today. I also have this little nut and that's what I'm going to be using instead of the pumpkin. So here we are. I'm going to be adding this beautiful leaf right up here and with some more hot glue I'm going to be gluing this nut right below or on top of the pumpkin but in the lower uh, section and this is already turning out so beautiful. So I am gonna come in with some, some jute cord and I'm gonna be adding it to the stamp, but for now, let's go ahead and glue both of these jingle blocks with a hot glue, and this is how I'm gonna be placing it back here, and this is gonna help me stand it.
And this thick here, uh, stick, I'm sorry, I had it laying around in my stash for a while. This was from another project. So I'm gonna use this to stand this pumpkin up. This is absolutely gorgeous. And again, I love it because it's nice and simple, yet it makes a nice statement. Then up here, I'm gonna add some jewel cord. And as I was adding the jewel cord, the pumpkin came loose from the stick, so I had to re glue it again but the reason why i'm doing this is just to make sure that it looks nice and full and at the same time it's covering up that hole up there and here it is see it fell so i'm gonna go ahead and add plenty of hot glue and re-glue it i also want to thank you my dear friends for stopping by to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing to my channel to my old subscribers you know i wouldn't be here without you and if you have not subscribed you know that i would love for you to be part of my family Family. And here is the final review. I hope you enjoy it. And for our next project, I was inspired by Whiskey and With. I did this on a previous video maybe like a year ago and I'm going to go ahead and recreate it again. I'm going to go ahead and melt this candle in the microwave and I'll give it 10 minutes and I'm going to be using the pumpkin. So now that it is completely melted all you do is just pour it over here and look this is going to turn out so stinking cute. This is so simple yet once it's done it's just amazing so i'm gonna use the same wick i'm gonna go ahead and remove the wick from inside the jar i'm gonna go ahead and straighten it out because we are going to be using it again and we will be putting it right in here and now i'm gonna go ahead and cut the axis wick and this is it my dear friends this is nice and simple yet it's so beautiful and just remember that you can create this with any jar or anything that you think it might look good the sky is the limit. Thank you.